What's up guys, I just want to make this quick video to give you guys an update on my journey and I'm finally happy to say that I'm a funded trader, a funded futures trader. I'm funded with 50k on top step, um, as you can see right here on the certificate. And of course, it's actually just you're funded with 2k because that's the drawdown you get. But that aside, I just want to talk about the fact that do you actually deserve to getting funded, right? Because it doesn't mean shit that I passed an evaluation. I failed like five futures um, accounts before. So yeah, this is the sixth one I passed. I'm on, I mean, it was about time, right? I want to talk about do you actually deserve it, right? Because some of you guys know that last year in December, I already passed a 50k Forex account and I made 5% on that account. So that's about 2, 2k. 2.3k whatever i was about to withdraw that nice payout but then i completely fucked up because you needed to wait 14 days to request it and i ha didn't have the patience so i started trading one loss spiraled and i'm bummed the account is gone and so i want to talk about this because getting funded nowadays it doesn't mean shit right okay of course i'm happy that i'm finally funded but it was after so many accounts the most important thing is, do you actually deserve it? And so back in December, I actually can admit that I didn't really deserve it because I was over trading, not having good risk management. And I maybe got lucky, right? Of course I had a good system, but I was not applying it um, the way I want to, right? I was not following my rules, not following my risk management, all that shit, right? But now it's the first time where I got a feeling that I kind of deserve the funded account, but not completely. So if we go and take a look on my Notion um, journal, um, we see that I started to switch um, into futures in January, by the way. So this is where I started. You see, this is how my weekly PL looks like before I got funded. So it's always like, okay, nice win, a small, small loss. Okay, nice win, nice win, small loss. Okay, this looks pretty good, pretty consistent. But then you have these days where you get a significant loss, right? You see 1K, okay, normal win, normal win, normal loss, normal loss, um, normal win. And then here is already a higher loss than I should um, afford to lose, right? And you see, this is a pattern right here, right? Small loss, small loss, big, no, sorry, small win, small win, big loss, big loss, good, good win, a good loss, win, win. But the point I want to give it, you guys, is that the reason why I failed so many accounts, the reason why I've breached so many Forex accounts in last year and this year futures accounts is because whenever I lose, all right, I talked about this in the previous video, I just spiral and I can't stand the fact that I lose and you know, all that over trading and bad risk management shit. And now the last few weeks, I completely shift my mind and I started to become more preservative um, in relation to my, my capital, right? So I was thinking more in the fact of, okay, I want to preserve this profit I have. I don't want to pass my evaluation. I want to preserve this and I want to apply good risk management and I don't want I don't want to overtrade, right? And you can see that right here. First off, I started my um, challenge, my last challenge that got fun that got me funded uh, two weeks ago. One K loss. Okay, this is still bad because I can't afford a one K loss. Two fifty five hundred dollars is great, but once it goes over that, um, I can't accept that. And so this is my rule. And you see after that, I started to become more consistent, right? A good win, a very good win actually. A good win, a small loss, a very good win, a very good win. And you see here, I only took six trades in a week, which is like amazing to me. I used to take like 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 trades because I was just over trading and not doing what I was supposed to do, right? And now you see that my equity curve is looking way, way better, right? You see here, okay, I started bad. This is where I overtraded, but then I started shifting my mind and I you only want to have two trades um, a day. That was in my mind. And I want to only take the best setups, you see? And from that moment, okay, good win, good win, small drawdown. Normally after a small drawdown like this, 
I would just completely start over trading and then this is the result we just go back to the max loss like you can see on the other accounts I didn't pass look how this looks this is just terrible um, let me take a look here right it's just like one loss okay bomb just over trade and yeah I've lost the account let me give another example it's just funny but it's the truth right look at this this is another account um, here okay go win small loss you see after every loss bomb I just start over trading okay I have a little win over trading because I want to make back where I was initially right so you see this this pattern it's just purely based of psychology because I didn't really change a thing in how I trade technically in how I look at the markets it's just that over trading and that bad habits that made me lose so many accounts um, the last year but now I just think that I finally kind of deserve it and that's what I want to talk with you guys because why is this important it is important because if you pass a funded account you think that you're the shit right you think that oh my god I just passed an account you get that certificate right it says that you apply good risk management you are a disciplined trader so this is your certificate that's not true you can pass the account with like horrible risk management with horrible um, habits and so once you pass that account when you don't really deserve it then you're gonna build in false conviction then you're gonna think oh I just I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing because it got me funded right but that's a trap that's not true you know when you deserve it and when not and when you don't know that you don't deserve it then you're just gonna fuck up in the front face and that's the true because that's what I did right and now I applied good risk management not the best but better than before so I just want to make this clear to you guys that you should focus on building those good habits that will make you consistent and not some stupid habits that will get you funded and one payout and done right this doesn't mean anything like I said I can lose the account tomorrow if I start over trading again so yeah this is just another step in the journey I just want to make that thing clear to you guys that passing an account doesn't mean anything once you have the wrong habits but it's definitely nice that I passed this evaluation it's just another step in the journey I just trust the journey and embrace it and from now on I hope because this is only two weeks guys that I'm having good habits and it doesn't mean anything right I should keep going with these good risk management my kind of risk management I used with this evaluation is just 250 risk like about $250 risk every trade I can trade um, however much I want during the day but of course I want to stick to like two three max trades um, and only trade when there is clear opportunity after one loss I should have one last try and then I'm done for the day and yeah I think if I just keep doing this because I was not following that rules when I breached the account right I was just literally just losing oh another trade losing another trade winning big and then losing even bigger right and that's not what I did with this evaluation so I'm gonna keep focusing on preserving that capital risk management because that's the only thing that's stopping me from now um, getting to a payout is just literally only playing the best setups and um applying good risk management not over training it's so simple everyone tells you that in the beginning but that's the end goal right of course you don't if you don't have an edge yet you should focus on that but I I feel like I have an edge to look at the market and to trade um, and execute if you don't have that yet you should focus on that but if you have that then you should focus on not over trading and applying good risk management so yeah I just want to make that clear and this is just another step in my journey I just trust the Trust the journey. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I'm going to focus on good risk management. And I think that will get me to the next level now. So yeah, whatever you're doing, please focus on building good habits and not focus on just passing the evaluation and get a payout because that will not get you there in the long term. And yeah, I hope you enjoy my journey. A um, lot of drawdowns and then some achievements. Let's just hope we keep it up from here. And yeah, let's get our first payout this year, right? So see you guys later. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep on doing these um, journey uh, videos, just like talking about where I'm at and, and, and yeah, just some things I realized, some thoughts. I think that's the best way uh, for content creation for me. Um, but yeah, just let me know uh, if you guys like these type of videos and we're gonna keep going. Come on, we can do this. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.